Good morning. How you doing? Well, we're, it's a thankful Thursday. We're giving <laughs> thanks to the Lord this morning. Amen, amen. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to sit back and drink my coffee. Yeah, I got some coffee up in here, up in here. <laughs> and I'm going to hear this powerful word that you have for the people of God. All right, indeed, delighted to be sharing the good news this morning as we do every single morning. And it is news we can use because yeah. we... Yes, ma'am, because that we need it. Amen. We need it. Join us every time tomorrow with Christ in action. Take it away, Pastor. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing the word of reconciliation this morning. God was in Christ, not laying our sins to our account, but taking them unto himself and reconciling the world unto himself. When he do that? Well, it was when he came in order to save us, in order to save the day, the Lord Jesus Christ put himself in harm's way, allowed himself to be harmed. And uh, he said, no man takes my life. I lay it down willingly. And it was all because of love, the love that he has for us. And so now embracing and accepting this good news, it's the power of God unto salvation to every single one of us who will hear the message of him, receive him, put our faith in him. And as we do so, he changes and exchanges our lives for his. And so uh, he is to be able to uh, make us different and to change us and our circumstances and make the impossible possible. Well, friend, we believe that God created you for all the possibilities of being created in his own image and likeness. We share this so often from Genesis chapter one and verse 26, because we believe that God is the origin of all things, that he is the maker and creator of all things. And uh, if we're going to live lives uh, in time, what we call life and eternity, that is maximized in its potential in the fullness of uh, what, how we are made and what we are made for, then we have to look to God. We have to look to him because I firmly also believe that when the scripture and the canon of scripture that we call the Bible begins with Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God, uh, that, that just speaks monuments. The beginning of all things is God and whatever you are, your beginning for the future is with God and uh, his work, his purpose, his art, and his design. What is that? What am I designed for? How am I made? What is his intent? What is his purpose? You know, it supersedes whatever we're seeing today. I am amazed that he is spoken of and called the ancient of days. That simply means that there is no day that we'll ever encounter or ever see in time or eternity that he did not proceed and that nothing catches him by surprise. And uh, we further understand, according to Ephesians chapter one and verse 11, that we are predestined according to him who works all things after the counsel of his own will. And so if we're going to get into alignment with God and live out the purposed lives, the fruitful lives that he intends for us, we must align ourselves for his, with his will, for that's, that's what he's up to. He consults only his own will and those who uh, pray according to his will. Scripture says in 1 John chapter 5 and verse 14, if we ask anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, then we know we have the petitions that we have desire of him. That's what the apostle John says. And there's so much certainty in that we know, we know, we know. It is because we know that God is the origin and the beginning of all things. And then we, we are seeking fruit and productivity consistent with his design. We can, we can do nothing but see his power and glory. That's in our lives, that's in the lives of our children, uh, in our marriages, in our business, our home, our churches, our city, our 
counties, our state, our nation, our world. Today, friend, in the beginning, God, let us look to him. Let us align ourselves with his will and soul. Come in agreement with him to see his fruitfulness and productivity by his own design and purpose in all things, for all things, at all times. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. There you'll find these and other encouraging words to declare God and his love for us that our faith might be firmly fixed in him, the love that he has for us and the identity that we have in him. Together, we're the difference that makes the difference that God intends, we desire, the world needs as we awaken his purpose of knowing him and his love for us mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this thankful Thursday morning. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Thank you for that news that we all can use. Yes, ma'am. And thank <laughs> you. Thank you for continuing to blow the gospel up in the dream of change and keeping Jesus as the center of our joy. And all I can say that is amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Well, hey, have a great day. We'll talk to you again real soon. All right. Be blessed, man. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Go in the power and strength of God's will in your life, in the lives of your families and communities, knowing that as we're aligned with him, we'll see the fruit of what he intends and purposes. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.